You know the drill, five things that you're gonna love about this place, five things that you're gonna hate, but today we're gonna switch it up, we're gonna start with the hate. So, first thing that you're gonna hate here in Singapore, it is expensive. This is on par with any major US city, if not a little bit more. Some of the drinks that we were paying for are like 20, 25 dollars. You can't get an ice cream cone for less than like five. Don't expect this to be anything like the rest of Southeast Asia or even parts of Europe. So make sure you budget accordingly. Now, the second thing that you're not gonna love and you might even hate here in Singapore are the traffic lights. I feel like I'm standing at traffic lights forever. Like these lights seem to be like a minute to a minute and a half long. Maybe I'm just impatient, have that American approach, but yeah, I feel like I'm waiting around a little too long here in Singapore. The third thing that you might not like or might even hate about Singapore is the size. This is a really tiny island, especially compared to other countries. So just know coming in that it is about 17 miles from north to south, which means you can drive it in about 30 to 45 minutes. It's pretty compact. It's an awesome city, but just know that coming into it, you don't have a lot of places to escape it's pretty small now the fourth thing that you might not love or might even hate here in Singapore is the attire this place though is a business district basically everyone is walking around in like either suit and tie dress shirts basically everyone has at least a collar on and like I own one collar shirt and that's for emergencies only I very rarely am in collar shirts, so it's gonna feel weird if you're just coming from anywhere else in Southeast Asia and are accustomed to being in flip-flops t-shirts, stuff like that. It's not like it's frowned upon necessarily. I didn't feel judged, but do know that you might feel a little bit out of place and that some restaurants, they're gonna have dress code. You might not be able to get in. So if you're planning your trip ahead of time, make sure to pack collared shirts, closed toe shoes. Uh, that way you can come and experience everything and you're not gonna be stopped based on your wardrobe and so you fit in a little bit more. And the fifth and final thing that you might hate here in Singapore, I'm just gonna call it 7-Eleven effect. <laughs> there are so many 7-Elevens in this town and in this country. Here's a crazy fact, right? Get this. New York, which is bigger than this, has just over 100 7-Eleven stores, and that's probably too many. LA, which is double the size, has about 144. This whole country, which is smaller again than both of those, 422, that, that's just nuts. It's time for the loves and there's so much more to love about Singapore than there are things to hate. The first thing that you're gonna love about Singapore is the food. You have street food in what they call hawker centers here. It's basically because like street vendors aren't necessarily allowed. So you basically have these centers where you get a bunch of like street food stalls and everything is really cheap. That's where you're gonna get the local cuisine. You can get a meal still for like under three bucks here, which is still really good, right? But then you also have great mid-tier places, a ton of high quality things. If you're a Michelin star fan, you will have no shortage of Michelin star restaurants to take a tour through here. Some of the best bars. We went to one, it's called Jigger and Pony. It's currently ranked the number 12 bar in the world and it didn't disappoint. It was pretty spectacular. Definitely was expensive. $28 a cocktail. I'd say that's a little bit much, but eh, went in Rome or went in Singapore. We did it. It was worth it. It was cool. But you'll definitely love the food here in Singapore. The second thing that you're absolutely going to love about Singapore is just the architecture and how like futuristic everything is. It basically feels like when designing a building, they say, what hasn't been done before and what would be really cool? And they say, this, let's try it. Like everything is so crazy to look at. The buildings are just unlike anywhere I've ever seen before. It really feels like you've jumped 50 years in the future. The architecture is just incredible. The museums, all really futuristic. The technology is just integrated really well everywhere. Look behind me. Like. Come on, that, that's nuts. So there are some places that are appreciated because it feels like you're stepping into the old world. This place, complete opposite. It feels like you're stepping into the future and it is awesome. Now the third thing that you're absolutely gonna love here in Singapore, if you're somebody who's into rules and into just like having an order with things, you are gonna love it here. This place is so clean and so orderly. I mean, just like there's a procedure for everything and everything works because of it. It's really nice. It can be a little bit frustrating when you're like waiting at those traffic lights and you're like, I just wanna jaywalk, but literally nobody does it. Even the sidewalks, like so clean. You feel like you could eat off of them. Part that's because like there's no gum gum very illegal in this country and because of that it means there's no gum that ends up on the floor so like everything has a place here so definitely make sure that you know yours so you can fit in and respect the local culture the fourth thing that you're absolutely gonna love about Singapore is just the greenery this place even though it is a huge city with towering skyscrapers there is green everywhere 
on the buildings, on the streets, absolutely everywhere. Like it feels like you're walking through, like again, just like a futuristic jungle. Everything is so pretty and green and lush. It's just incredible. Like it is crazy to see greenery like 50, 100 stories up. I don't know if any of these buildings are actually 100 stories, but it seems like it. Like there's just green everywhere, and it is really, really cool how they manage to bring that greenery into a metropolitan place that in America, this would just be all concrete, but it is nice to see that they have committed to the green. And green in other ways, in terms of like supporting the planet, even the city buses, they're double-decker electric buses. That way, it can fit more people on it. I, I don't know why we haven't thought of that. We should definitely be doing that, but you'll definitely love the greenery here in Singapore. The fifth and final thing that you will absolutely love here in Singapore is the airport. It may be warrants a trip on its own. I made a whole video on it. You're not gonna wanna miss that video, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below, and we'll catch you guys next time.